गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू क्लास सेवन साइंस वंस अगेन चिल्ड्रन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव फिनिश्ड द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन दैट इज वेदर क्लाइमेट एंड एडप्टेशन चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डू द रिविजन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर फोर टू सेवन देन आफ्टर दैट वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड ओके सो टूडे वी आर डूइंग द रिविजन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर हीट we will take some important terms from this chapter that is important regarding your exam periodic test second the further details and update regarding periodic test second will you get soon in seventh standard group okay so today we are doing the revision of chapter number 4 okay see chapter number 4 that is heat heat i told you is a form of energy okay heat is the degree of hotness and the degree of hotness can be measured by the its temperature okay by its temperature we can easily observe the degree of hotness okay now children see first of all the very important question that is the units of temperature in one marks may be asked in exam what are the units of temperature so you can give the answer like the first unit that is degree celsius okay degree celsius second degree fahrenheit and kelvin the three units of temperature number 1 degree celsius number 2 degree fahrenheit and number 3 that is kelvin okay so temperature can be measured by a device that is thermometer okay that will all discuss in this chapter we'll cover the important terms regarding your exam okay because we have done this chapter in detail now we'll do the revision only okay so thermometer that is a device that are used to measure the temperature okay types of temp types of thermometer the first that is laboratory thermometer and second that is clinical thermometer laboratory thermometer that are used in labs and clinical thermometer that are used in clinics okay while we measure the body temperature we use the clinical thermometer and if we measure the temperature of solution in laboratories then we'll use the laboratory thermometer okay this we have discussed in detail now children see some precaution while we uh, while we handle the thermometer then we have to use some precaution okay see first that is should be washed before and after use okay like if we want to measure the body temperature by clinical thermometer we should wash the thermometer before and after use okay second that is hold it horizontally while reading okay we hold its horizontally okay next the third point that is should not be hold by the bulb okay a bulb is you know front side so we, we cannot touch the bulb bulb we touch the you know capillary tube uh, we touch the glass okay so always remember one thing should not be touch the bulb okay and handle with care these are some precaution regarding the thermometer okay now next children that we have discussed in this chapter heat first temperature okay a quick review we have seen in the previous slide about temperature about thermometer now we'll take a little detail about that first temperature is a degree of hotness of an object it can measured by a device that is thermometer okay the normal temperature of the human body is 37 degree celsius or we can also say that it is 98.6 degree 
Fahrenheit. Okay. So we can say that the thirty-seven degree Celsius is equal to the ninety-eight point six degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Clear. This is about temperature. Now see the temperature that are measured by the device that is thermometer. Two types of thermometer, as we discussed in the previous slide, that is number one clinical thermometer, and number two that is laboratory thermometer. See first that is clinical thermometer is there, that is used to measure the body temperature. Okay. Now see about that. How can we measure the temperature? Thermometer, thermometer that measures the temperature of our body is called clinical thermometer. And clinical thermometer has long narrow glass tube. It has a bulb, and also that in the glass tube they contain a capillary tube. In capillary tube, a mercury is there. That will flow, okay. That will flow, okay. The range of the clinical thermometer is thirty-five degree Celsius to the forty-two degree Celsius. Is that clear about that? And the normal temperature of human body that is thirty-seven degree Celsius. See the structure once again. It is a glass tube. in which bulb there then in a glass tube a capillary tube is there in the capillary tube mercury is filled okay in the capillary tube mercury is filled that is flow in the uh, in the tube okay and the range of the clinical thermometer is from 35 degree celsius to the Forty-two degree Celsius. Okay, children. Next, that is laboratory thermometer. Children, we are doing fast because we have discussed about this chapter. So that's revision. So we'll take a quick revision. Okay, laboratory thermometer that is used in lab to check the temperature of solution, chemicals. Okay, check the check the temperature of solution. so the laboratory thermometer has a long narrow glass tube it has bulb at one end and containing mercury same like clinical thermometer but the range of laboratory thermometer is minus 10 degree celsius to the 110 degree celsius okay and it is used in the laboratory clear this is the structure the picture you can see there on your screen a laboratory thermometer it is quite long as compared to the clinical thermometer and it reads from minus 10 degree celsius to the 110 degree celsius okay this is a picture that showing measuring temperature of water with an laboratory thermometer okay in labs we can use like that like if we boiling the water then we dip in water and check the temperature okay next the important corner of the chapter that is transfer heat the three ways of transfer of heat we have discussed in chapter number 4 that is heat and these three are number 1 conduction number 2 convection and number 3 radiation we'll take a quick review recall what we have discussed in chapter number 4 see about first of all transfer of heat heat flows from body at high temperature to a body at a lower temperature okay transfer of heat very simple very easy that is from from higher temperature to the lower temperature okay like if we boil the water first of all downside water will be hot then the cool side water will hot so this is transfer of heat from hotter region to the colder region okay 
see the first uh, heat is transferred in three different ways as I told you the first number one conduction okay conduction occur in solids convection convection occur in liquid and gases number three radiation radiation doesn't require any medium okay like for example sun to the earth okay it doesn't require any medium so conduction in solids convection in liquids and gas and radiation without any medium okay see one by one first of all conduction conduction that is the process by which heat is transferred from hotter end to the colder end of an object is called conduction the solid thing in the solid thing the conduction takes place okay clear about this from hotter region to the colder region the transfer of heat takes place in solid is called conduction okay next convection convection that is a process by which heat is transferred in liquid and gases from hotter part to the colder part okay like for example the water we can take boiling of water okay first of all the downside hot water will boil then again the upper side water will also be hot from hotter region to colder region in liquid and gas is called convection okay next that is radiation radiation children as the process by which heat is transferred from one place to another place without help of any medium okay without the help of any medium heat is transferred in radiation okay from hotter region to the colder region okay children clear about this example you can take of sun from sun to the earth the radiation the light okay so from sun to the earth there is no medium for transfer of heat this is the example of radiation okay now children this is the quick recap revision that we have discussed about uh, chapter number 4 heat i hope you have learned about that children the keywords and summary that is important along with these what we have discussed in this chapter conductor insulator these are also important terms so you learn all the things okay the update and information regarding your exam periodic test 2 we will give in your 7th standard group okay and uh, one more thing children the many student asking about the syllabus deduct this year okay i have sent a pic also in 7th standard group in which you can see there the 30 percent syllabus is deducted by cbsc okay 30 percent syllabus that is removed by the cbsc and the removed chapter i have shared with you in the seventh standard group already but i repeat once again the name of chapter that is uh, remove this academic year number one fiber to fabric okay fiber to fabric will not come in exam next that is wind storm and cyclone this chapter is also removed by the cbsc then motion and time motion and time is also removed not coming exam and also forest our lifeline and waste water story these five chapters that i have shared in the seventh standard group also these are deducted these are removed from the from this year 2020 20 and 21 so this chapter will not come in exam okay clear Thank you.